On February 24, 2022, the day Russia invaded Ukraine, Sean Penn had a meeting with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky in Kiev for a movie about the comedian turned politician. Even as he headed his country's defense in Europe's biggest land war since World War II, Zelensky continued to meet with the American actor and his team, but kept them waiting for several hours. It's one of the eye-opening scenes in Penn's new documentary, Superpower, streaming this week on Paramount. It speaks both Penn's ability to insert himself into global crises and Zelensky's shrewd approach the public relations war within the war. Penn said he still doesn't trust Hannity, likening appearance to his first physical therapy session after a car accident. But he's more concerned with spreading message America needs to help Ukraine win the war against Russia as quickly as possible. Superpower is a documentary about Ukraine's wartime president, starring Penn. It counters Saddam Hussein's controversial quasi diplomacy early on, showing historical news clips of experts commenting on the actor's various ventures. From his meetings with lawmakers in Iraq to his friendship with Venezuelan Hugo Chavez. In narration that continues throughout film, Penn asks himself why he is involving himself in urgent global problems of moment. He is curious and famous, which gives him access, as was his meeting with Zelensky on day of the invasion, followed by longer meeting a few months later in which Zelensky begged for more weapons and offered metaphor to make point clear. Don't give me one wing and tell me to fly. I will never fly, he says. So far, the United States has still failed to provide the modern warplanes Ukraine desperately wants. And Zelensky admitted last week that Ukraine launched its counteroffensive too late, giving Russia months to strengthen its defense lines while Kiev waited for Western heavy weapons. Arrive. Penn also befriends fighter pilot Andriy Pilshchikov, a.k.a. Juice, who became one of Ukraine's most famous war heroes before dying in a training accident this summer. Pilshchikov joined a delegation visiting the United States to lobby for F-16s. Almost everyone Penn speaks to in film wants the United States to get more weapons faster. A view strongly shared by actor. There are eye-opening moments even for those who follow the daily news from Ukraine closely. There are great hopes for what post-war Ukraine will look like. But there is also tremendous uncertainty. Zelensky, for example, tells Penn he worries about the consequences of giving guns to ordinary people. This is a fear that also affects America. At one point, Penn visits frontline and moves through the trenches to within 50 meters of Russian positions just across river. The local military leader is clearly angry with Zelensky over how quickly his hometown was taken over by the invading Russians, but says he will reserve questions until the war is over. The film also takes a look at Ukrainian history.